What did you see? You kind of teased a little bit of a breakdown with David Price. What do you have? Well, it's interesting, you know, I, I love David Price and I love following the track that he's been on, but he's really struggling in Boston. I think a lot of it has to do with the approach the hitters have had at him. When you have a guy that has that good of stuff, you have to eliminate pitches and just basically say, here's what I'm going to do. Now, we all know he's got the four-seam fastball, electric stuff, mid-90s and up at different times throughout his whole career, because I'm going to take you through it. And he's able to dot that sinker when he wants to, and he talked about earlier in that interview the cutter that he has as well. And then he's developed a changeup in the last couple of years that has really been a nice pitch for him to keep guys off that fastball. But what he has done effectively is move men in and out. So we always hear what the pitchers have to say, but I want to tell you from a hitter's perspective what I would do if I was facing David Price and what I think people are doing. All right, I'm going to take some tape. Basically, you're going to split the plate up. All right, you can't cover the whole plate as a hitter. So you say he's either going to be in, I'll bring that back in a second, or he's going to be on the outside half. Okay? You try to split the plate up. You're probably not going to get this pitch right here very often. So a guy's either going to live there or he's going to live there. So you look at there's two lanes that a guy pitches in. And what David Price is doing, he's not throwing out here. So I eliminate that lane. I take that, throw it away, see you later. Now, look at all I'm looking for. Anything here. And more than likely, it's going to be his fastball and his cutter in. So let's take a look at today. If that's my approach, and I'm sitting there saying, I'm worried about the ball inside and I'm ready to hit it. He can't hit the outside half, I'll eliminate it. All right, this is on Father's Day, June 19th. Away, he's getting hitters out. When David Price is able to command both sides of the plate, forget about it. That's the Cy Young Award winner. You're not gonna hit it because he has electric stuff. Even if he misses with the ball inside, like that right there or down the middle, his stuff can overpower at times if he's able to command both sides of the plate. If he does that, it's lights out. But what I've seen from David most of the time this year is that he's not able to get that ball in the outside half. And if that ball's not outside, I've eliminated the outside pitch, and now anything middle in, I'm looking to swing. I'm gonna, in a sense, ambush him. Okay, because you gotta get out front and respect the 95, 96. So you're gonna get out there, but you're expecting that ball inside. And even if you get a change up like this right here, He's out in front, but he hooks it because he's going to fight off that 96. Again, a cutter that comes inside, but it's not going to be effective because I have now eliminated any ball away, and I'm looking for a ball in. So when you're facing David now, if you don't have to worry about that, and this is all you're doing, your approach is here. And now all of a sudden, I'm covering any ball inside or middle. And that out there, if he throws it there, you tip your cap. And obviously, if he's not hitting that, you're gonna get results right now. So what's he need to do? He's gotta work both sides of the plate again. And if he's able to deliver one or two pitches in the first inning, right there on the outside half, it will change his game. How? That's here's my question. Here. Is okay, it simply got, placement on the rubber? Is it mechanical? What should he do to fix this? You know what? I, I, I never heard of placement on the rubber stuff until I started working in TV. And it could be, maybe he moves over a little bit and it allows him to hit the outside or he moves in. But that's up to him to figure out. But he's got to figure out how to put the ball on the outside half to a right-hander and the outside half to the lefty. That's on him. Whatever's comfortable for him to do. I don't think hitters go to the plate and go, man, he's on the other side of the rubber today. Okay, he's not going to get the ball there. I think this is all new thinking. I think that's more on the pitcher. All right, so for a pitcher perhaps trying to figure things out, we've got a hitter trying to figure things out. When we come back on MLB Tonight, it's back out to Milwaukee to check in on Adrian Gonzalez. It's been a frustrating go for Agon, and in fact, his